Hi, Megan. How are you? Hi. I'm okay, I guess. Okay. Well, I'm glad you came in. Um, what's been bothering you? Why, why did you come in today? Well, my mom really, like, wants me to be here talking to you. I don't know. Talking? Is there a particular reason? Yeah, like, I don't know. There's just some stuff going on at school that just sucks, and she thinks that, like, talking to someone might help. Mm-hmm. What kind of things are going on in school? Oh, uh, there's just... There's just some people that, like, suck at the school. They're just not very nice to me. Okay. Um, like what? What have, what, why do they suck? They're just, like, they just suck. Like, there are these kids that are just, like, they just tease me all the time, and they're just so mean, and, like, sometimes they, like, push me in the hallway and stuff. Mm Mm-hmm. Did, have you talked to anyone else about this? I haven't really, like, talked to anyone. I mean, like, I've complained to my friends, but, like, mm-hmm. I haven't, like, told a teacher or anything. Do you think I should? Well, I'm, I can't directly answer that, but I think that we can come to, you, you can come to um, a solution to that problem. I don't know. I don't feel like telling the teachers would actually help. You don't think so? No. Um, so you would consider the, that your classmates are bullying you? I mean, like, I don't want to say, like, bullying, but they're just, like, they're really, really mean to me, and they, like, they call me horrible things, and they're just, mm-hmm. like, they just suck. They suck? Mm-hmm. Have you thought of ways to stop it i just get so angry i just like sometimes i just want to like want to just like fight back and stand up for myself but i don't know if that would be a good idea because i know that i might get in trouble if i tried to like stand up to them myself Mm -hmm. i don't know what do you think well i think it's good that you're having self-control and able to to think that that you are the better person, and you don't have to resort to violence. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to be like them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Have you tried other support groups that might have uh, might be going through the same thing? Well, like, no. There's this like group that they have at school that like might be able to help me, but I'm just I'm reluctant. I, I'm just reluctant to go. You're reluctant? Why is that? I just, like... Well, like, these kids at school, like, when they're teasing me, it's, like, they call me a dyke, and they, like, they make fun of my hair, and they, they call me gay, and there's this, like... There's this group on school called, like, the, the Gay Straight Alliance, and, mm-hmm. like, sometimes I see them, like standing up for kids that are getting bullied for being gay, but I just don't want to be part of that group, like, and give give the mean kids more fuel to make fun of me. Okay. Do you think that that group would uh, be supportive? Do you think you would like to join that group? I think they would be supportive, but I just I just don't know if it would be worth it. What, I don't know. Like, what, what should I do? Well, I don't know. It seems that it would be a good environment for you, but I think you can make that ultimate decision. Yeah. It would be nice to, like, to have some friends that would stick up to me. Like, a couple of my friends will just, like, I mean, they'll let me vent, but they don't really, like, they don't really understand what it's like. Mm Mm-hmm. Understand what exactly? They just, like, they don't understand what it's like to have someone, like, making fun of you for, like, who you are. Mm Mm-hmm. And they don't know what it's like to get, like, pushed into the lockers at school. Mm Mm-hmm. They just, I just feel like nobody understands me. Okay. Um, well, it seems that you are getting to know who you are, that you identify with a different group. So I think that's coming to terms with yourself. 
So that's a step in the right direction. Maybe. Yeah. You think so? Um, well, what, um, have you told your parents or your teachers how you felt about this? No, I don't really, like, I don't really like to talk to them about this, like, because, like, if you talk to a teacher, you just, like, it makes everything worse, because mm -hmm. then all of a sudden you're, like, a tattletale and, like, a narc and nobody likes you and that would just make things worse and, like, I suppose I could talk to my mom, but I just don't want her to get worried. And I think she would be really worried if she heard that. Okay. Well, it seems that she is concerned that something is going wrong in school. Yeah. I know she really, like, she notices and she really, like, cares that I'm not enjoying school anymore. Mm -hmm. Well, at least she can see. Um, uh, be accepting of who you are. Yeah, she's she's pretty. I mean, she loves me. Like mm -hmm. she's pretty nice. We get good. We get along really good. Okay. But I just don't want to worry her. You know. Mm -hmm. Like, would you tell her? Like, would you talk to her about this? Well, I wouldn't talk to her about our therapy session. But no, but like, if you were me. Well, I can't directly advise you on that, but I think that if she loves you and if you feel confident to if you feel that she's a good support system for you I mean it sounds that you do so it could be a potential step in the right direction as well yeah all right well I wanted to thank you for coming in um I think for next time we should maybe if you wanted to you can join that group do you think that would be a a good homework assignment I guess we could call it yeah I mean I guess I could like go to a meeting and see what it's all about mm -hmm. okay well I'll see you then